Uh, let's move on to, 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 to the second topic is, uh, is optimizations. So we don't need the linear algebra. So don't worry about it. If you, if you don't get 100%, probably we will revisit, uh, say in regression and classification, pro classification topics where we discuss it. And let's move on to the second topic here is it's optimization. I already mentioned in, 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 in the least square problems. So let's formulate it in, in optimizations. So let's move, let's say optimization is really important to in, in many aspects and of these lot of engineering problems in the sorting process, you always think about the, the optimization things, a lot of data science, even in say, we always optimize it. You made the decisions every single moment. Say, I want to, what kind of food I want to have for lunch? What kind of food I want to have for dinner? Is, uh, do we have to, to take a nap right now? Or we have to study or we have to attend or whatever. You made a decision. That's the one of the optimization process as a human beings. And nature does as well. Like nature optimize always. I'm going to show, explain what the optimization is using this example. Suppose you, in, during the summertime, you have, you went beach and say, this is the oceans or the sea here. And here is, you have, uh, and suppose you are lifeguard during like summer and you summon, you know, in a say, ask for help. Okay, that's the, the situation that we have. And you have to, you want to, since you are lifeguard, you have to go and to, to save him or save her. And there are many ways that there is many paths that you, you can go. I mean, here, I just give you some of you have path of A and B and C. Let me ask which path that you want to take it. Suppose the velocity of zero here. So it's like lake. There's no like wave and velocity of flow of waters in order to make this problems simple. The, the shorter the shorter way, so the A. So shorter distance of A, right? Yes. Another suggestion? I would say A2. You would say A2? Okay. But here is it's a scent. Or maybe B, yeah, because maybe B. We, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are faster on the sand, so we we want to minimize the um, the distance we uh, we have to do in the sea. Okay, what well, I mean, uh, uh, he really mentioned the very important things. We he said as uh, we have different speed in say probably it's a faster we say the faster in sand. Here we we're gonna run it in fact in, in, in sand here, we have to swim in, in the ocean, right? And we might have different speed on it. Okay, let's go back to the, we, do we want minimize the distance or traveling distance or minimize the time that we want to get him, get her? Time, of course. Right, time, that's the, so we want to minimize time. And say, we want to minimize time. Say, suppose these are the distance. The total time 
probably sum of t of one and t of two. And t of one is distance divided by speed that I, the maximum speed that I can make it, that I can run on, on sand, plus the speed of swimming. I want to minimize it. And having different points here, I mean, taking these D of one and D of two will be determined, right? The S of one, S of two, speed of running and speed running on the sand and speed of swimming on the ocean is it's probably it's uh, out of my maximum capacity will be given. We already know, right? So if we have the, let me, let me ask if, then what will be the best path, the path, what will be the best path that I want to take it? In? If these two speed are the same. Would be A? In that case, A, right? Minimize time is the same as minimize the distance. And let me ask, what if, what if, um, No, 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 the other way around. Well, then I would say B. Then in, 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 it would be B, right? I want to minimize, minimize, because here, what I mean by is, it's uh, probably, is, even though it's your lifeguard, you are not able to swim, probably in that case, I want to minimize this distance. But in many cases, in many case, probably like in somehow, then I will say between A and B, and at some point will be the will be the optimal point, optimal path. It really depends on the speed of S of one and S of two that you guys can make. Does it make sense? Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's. I mean, let's skip this one. Now, using, think about that, the, the example that I explained it in your mind, and as an example here, there are three key components whenever we, we talk about optimization problems. The first one is objective function. Second is decision variable or unknown. And the last thing is constraint. So thinking about this example, or with the objective functions. Which one you want to maximize it? Your objective is time, right? So there are three key components to, to, to make the opt, uh, optimization problems. Here in, in, in want to maximize time this I say I want to maximize some objective functions or, or I want to minimize some objective functions or be the unknown or decision variables here in that case say I will say that's your point probably I, I'm gonna put some coordinate say this is the origin here maybe x that's the past. So probably X can be yeah, like your decision variable or not, right? If you set the axis, then these paths will be determined. What about the constraint? Do you have any constraint on X? We can have any values of an X, right? I mean, we can go that way. We can go this way. But nobody's gonna take it. But it's it's a possible candidates. Among these possible candidates, I want to find out optimal solution of X that maximize my objective functions. In this case, happen to be maximize uh, minimize time. I'm sorry, minimize time. But uh, to to explain the constraint, say there's some 
the big buildings here, then you cannot get through the buildings. So your X, like in this way, you have to detour it. So in that case, you can come up with some constraint. So three key components, rem remember it. The first thing is that I, either you can minimize or you can maximize, but you have to have some kind of objective functions that you want to. And there's some control or you some variables or unknowns that you want to change it. They will call it decision variables in the optimization communities. Or you can say just unknowns or decision parameters that you want to change it. And the last thing will be some of, you might have some constraint on, on your, how I say, you might have constraint on your decision variables. So that's the, some, the key components they, and the next step is that you want to find out the solutions, right? You want to find out solutions. So for in typical way of procedures is the first thing is that you want to given any engineering or what kind, any kind of problems, we have to identify what will be the objective functions, what will be the decision variables, what will be the, the uh, constraint for the given problems. You have to identify it, say objective functions. We call it, it's modeling process. Once we don't with, we don't with identifying all the key three components, the next time, of course, we have to solve it. We have to find out the optimal solutions. Once the model has been formulated, we have to we have to find out the solutions, All right? So let's talk about optimizations more in mathematical form. In a mathematical expressions, that's so. Let me ask, which one is objective functions here? Which one is objective functions? F of X, right? And which one is decision variable? X. And these are the constraint on the decision variable. Right? We have in, in this mathematical expressions uh, contains contain all the key components, three key components, objective functions and decision variables and the constraint. And X, probably it's a scale, but in, 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 it will be like in the vector form. We might have more than one decision variables and we can always, we can free in the column vectors, in the objective functions. And the feasible reason is that they satisfied all the constraint what will be the optimal solutions optimal solutions is that because it's a minimization problems where x is or in, in c right that's the op i mean i'm just talking about the definition of the optimal solutions i, I I didn't discuss how to find out X of star, or how to find the optimal solutions. But these, if we have optimal solutions, still will be we have to satisfy this in in the minimization problem. Then let me ask: we might have maximization problem as well, but. Why they say in the mathematical expression is like this. What if we have maximization problems? What do you think? It's easy, right? Let me put it. Let me put it. Suppose we have we have to maximize something. 
then I can change it into minimization problems like that. All right? So minimization problems and the maximization problems are the same. It's the same. And what if, what about this? We might have this kind of constraint as well. But in, in here, the way that I represent is always smaller and equal to. What about greater or equal to? We can apply the same principles, like say, if we have put, let's say like, with negative sign on it. So I just changed it into smaller or the equal to. And the last question there, what, what if, what if we have equalities in, in our constraint? Here we have an inequality constraint. In that case, we can have or we can have like that. So, I mean, that's not difficult to understand. So there will be the mathematical expressions for easy to see that we have objective functions and minimize it and the constraint or is you have this like in inequalities. So remarks that I just explained it, this we can do equivalent transformations like that. There's something that I, I mean, there is some, we have unconstrained optimization problems versus constraint optimization problems. That's the definition of like that. If we have constraint here, it's a constraint optimization problems. If we don't, unconstraint, easy. There's another way that we can split the optimization problems into different categories. And one of them is like here is constraint unconstraint. Another way that you get convex and non-convex. I didn't give you the definition of a convex yet, but say I'm going to explain it, uh, show you what's the definition of convex and non-convex, but there's, there's another way like, like this that we can split it into different, the, the subspace of the, the optimization problems. We have convex optimization problems and non-convex optimization problems. Among the convex problems, we have semi epic quadratic and linear programming. And for the non-convex, the most representative or famous one is integer programming, things like that. I mean, the, this class is machine learning class, not the optimization class. So I'm not going to go in details, but some of them might have some interest in the optimization problems, probably uh, take a look at and get us some big pictures of that. And in this, in this lectures, we're gonna focus on like these, because somehow in many problems in the machine learnings turns out to be convex optimization problems or turns out many quadratic problems and linear programmings somehow. Of course, there's no, I mean, nonlinear optimization problems and non-convex optimization problems. You can find it in the machine learning problems as well, but most of them are convex. 